Mrs. Rachel makes. So today I'm going to make a tomato sauce, um, which is really easy and really good for all kinds of things. Okay, so what you need is an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, you could just use one if you don't want it to be particularly garlicky, a can of tomatoes, a carton of passata, which is ever so cheap, um, a pinch of sugar, some dried herbs, which are, this, this is just says Italian herbs mill, but dried basil, something like that. Um, a little bit of salt and pepper, and obviously some oil. To chop the onion and garlic up, um, fairly fine, as fine as you can manage. I'm not an expert at all at chopping things up, so don't worry about it. Okay, so just chop the garlic up fairly fine. You could use a garlic crusher, of course. I have got a garlic crusher somewhere, but I can't find it, so I'll just chop it up. Okay, so I've chopped up the onion and garlic, um, and I'm going to put a little bit of oil in a heavy baste pan. And just use whatever you've got. A big saucepan's fine. Um, pop that in there. And then what we're going to do is just put a little bit of salt with it, which helps the um, onion and the garlic to release its liquid, which helps to stop it from burning or from browning, because we don't want it to brown, because that will give the whole sauce a kind of a burnt taste. So what we're going to do is pop this on the hob and let that sweat um, for a few minutes until it goes translucent with a lid on. OK, so the onions and the garlic have sweated away now, and they're kind of translucent, they're slightly soft, so they're just the way we want them to be. And that was with the lid on. That really helps that process, okay? So now we're going to add the tomatoes. So this is just a can of tomatoes, um, any can of tomatoes. These are actually from Lidl. Um, and they're slightly cheaper even than the value range tomatoes from other supermarkets and really good. So that's why I use those. So I'll pop those in and I'm also going to put a, a carton of passata in and that's also actually from Lidl. Anybody would think that Lidl was paying me, they're not you know and I'm endorsing their products but anyway so this is from Lidl as well and that's really good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that carton up with water and add that in as well. Okay. At this minute you're probably thinking I've lost my senses and gone mad but actually this will be good I promise you because it needs to be cooked for a really long time after this so I'm going to put some dried herbs in there okay and also a couple of twists of pepper I'm not going to put any more salt at this stage because we've already used some salt um, if you remember before we sweated off the vegetables and I'm also going to use just a teaspoon of sugar that's really helpful to bring out the sweetness of the tomatoes. Now what we need to do is simmer this, bring this up to a simmer and simmer it for a really long time, okay? I would say an hour at a really, really, really low simmer is absolutely ideal and it allows all of that water, well some of the water to evaporate and it gives us a really rich flavour. So the sauce has had an hour simmering with the lid off. Um, as you can see it's reduced by about half so now it's lovely and thick and glossy. Um, so basically you can use this for whatever you like. It's really nice just with some pasta um, or as the basis of something like um, a lasagna sauce or something like that. Or you could even, if you allowed it to have a little bit more liquid, you could even have it as a soup. Okay, it's also perfect to use as the sauce on a pizza. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you liked this video, please say so. If you'd like to make a comment, please do. Nice one, please. Um, and that's it. Okay. Um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye-bye.